Okay, it's February 10, year 2008. I'm going to discuss to you a common problem with the early predator. There's a, a design problem. Okay, the early predator using, uh, they have an old battery tray. Let me show you the old battery tray. There. Yeah. The common problem, before I modify the battery problem, the tray problem, usually the battery put it here, the battery or under here, okay. The, <clears throat> before the modification, there's no, there's no support here. So it will tend to see to, uh, due to the vibration, produce a truck here. There's a truck here, caused by a vibration, and also truck here. Okay, see? Yeah, due to the very heavy battery and the vibration, it will stress this joint. Okay, so what's the solution? <laughs> solution is to it's very difficult to to, uh, to to change the battery tray. You almost have to remove everything because <laughs> there's a, a, a bolt at the back of the battery tray which is attached to a, a vertical support here. Okay. Anyway, it's a, you can do a lot of work. So I guess a simple way to do is to buy uh, aluminum. Go to any aluminum shop and buy this kind of al aluminum, okay? And just re reinforce it. Okay, and cut cut uh, this size aluminum, okay? Then uh, drill a two hole, two hole here, okay? And I'll show you I reinforce it with the aluminum under it okay there's the aluminum okay I reinforce it all the way to the back okay and also on the other side okay there and in between the aluminum you have to pull the uh, put an insert to avoid collapsing the aluminum as you tighten the screw so if you look at the aluminum, I put a two screw. There, two screw. The nuts. Okay. Okay, that's the nut. Then for additional reinforcement, I put another support here. Okay, here the support. Okay, this will uh, additional support, uh, less vibration if you keep the battery here. Okay, if it's vibrate, this will uh, hold the battery. I see in the newer version of a Predator, they put uh, support here on the upper side. They put uh, from here up to here, yeah. But I feel that's better to... Uh, Better support if you use a 45 degrees. It's almost a 45 degrees angle. Okay. And on the other side, also use a same support. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. See, see how I do it. I put the old screw to avoid collapsing. And here. I use a, a wheel collar there I use two a wheel collar just like this one a wheel collar here see fit exactly Okay, that's it. Very easy modification. You need to spend less than two dollars. 
to buy the aluminum bar. The cost of this uh, battery tray is about $15, I think. Okay, a century. Okay, that's about it. Thank you. Okay, it's uh, February 11, year 2008. I'm just finished uh, setting up uh, the radio, uh, radio and receiver of our uh, Predator. So this Predator just finished setting up the receiver. Okay, so I'll make sure the brackets not uh, just the uh, governor and governor and uh, the gyro. See the bracket? The bracket is not okay. Okay, let me show you how I open it. Okay, let's try to remove it. <laughs> okay. This is how I set up the radio. Put the battery under it and the gyro and the governor I stick the these two uh, device on another platform I just use a PCB pitted circuit board there so this will give another cushion okay double cushion oh. I just stick it with a double adhesive there in the receiver okay that's a bracket. With this kind of setup, I can easily change the receiver. Okay, that's the wiring. This is the receiver. And the governor sensor. Yeah. That's the governor sensor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I swear it. It's a bracket. Okay. That's how I do it. Okay, well, guys, ready for test flight. Maybe on uh, next uh, Saturday or Sunday. What else did I do? Uh, modification. This one, map flares keep losing, so I'll make additional support. And just add a radiation hose there the additional support there yes. what else new nothing new uh -huh. this one I put a switch here so I can easily access the switch the switch there and the gyro and battery indicator with this setup you need at least eight channel five for the helicopter and the six for the gyro gain and the seven and eight for the governor one to act, uh, one channel for on and off, and the other channel is setting the uh, RPM. Okay, but you can also use a uh, seven channel. So this is how I set it up. I make sure the electronics is floated. Okay, that's about it. Ready for fly. And look at my messy room. <laughs>